Hey guys, Will from Radio Flight. I know it's been a while since I did a video. Uh, I got a couple of videos coming up and I think you're going to really like them. Today I just wanted to show everybody um, a couple of things. Um, one, we got the DX6 uh, transmitter. Uh, it's been out for a while and um, this is my second one. And I just wanted to show everybody a couple of things. We'll open it up and look inside, but there's been some question um, as to what's version one and what's version two. Well, version two, um, you wouldn't know it to look at the front of the box until they started adding that. Okay, so that says now with diversity antenna. So instead of having one uh, lead in here, it's now got two. Redundancy is good. And the other thing that you, if you're looking online, um, a lot of times they don't uh, mention that. So you want to make sure that you're getting this model number, 6750. Hope you can see that. 6750 is version two. 6700 is the original without the diversity antenna. Okay. Okay, so we've all seen, if you've bought a radio in recent history, we've all seen the companies are moving away from a phone box and they've gone to this uh, material that is exactly the same stuff that you're, um, if you get a dozen eggs at the store, um, the carton uh, that those come in, this is the exact same stuff. And it works fine. I've had quite a few transmitters um, come and go uh, through uh, the U.S. Postal Service, uh, UPS, and um, FedEx. Um, I think UPS is like middle of the road as far as being rough with their packages. Uh, my, I've had quite a few packages come over FedEx ground um, in less than perfect condition. But I will say that in about six or seven years um, of shipping um, all kinds of things, um, I use the Postal Service 95% of the time, and I have never had an issue, not one. Um, so just wanted to point that out. So yeah, you got the basic gig carton type material. Uh, when you slide it out of the box, this is in a bag. The manual is in a bag. Um, and this is your manual. And it looks kind of thick, okay? But uh, as you flip through the back, you'll see that it starts going into different languages. So it's... and once you you know you can take advantage of the stuff that's online and i encourage people to you know put this uh next to your nightstand your coffee table whatever and read it you know read it read through it understand it um and once you get the hang of it the x6 the x6i um they're really straightforward and they're easy to program and uh you'll be able to do it on the fly if you want to make changes to the field or whatever so read the manual that's what it's for and um so this is, you know, the egg crate material. I think it's just as strong as the foam. Hang on to this. You know, you know, a lot of people throw boxes out. You know, my wife's, you know, is always telling me, get rid of the boxes. I'm sick of seeing these boxes everywhere. So even my airplanes, I keep the boxes out in the rafters in the shed in case I uh, want to break them down. Uh, I'm going to be moving soon. And uh, some of the uh, e-flight planes, I can take them apart and pack them back up. And uh, they'll be as safe as can be for our move. So, uh, all right, there's the, the DX6. Okay, there's the DX6, and this is transmitter only. So you get the transmitter, you get a package of AA batteries, and I strongly encourage you to get some rechargeable AA's or go ahead and get the lithium-ion, uh, the optional battery pack. I would have gladly paid a little bit more um, for the radio, I know that they're trying to keep the price point down by not including the lithium ion pack. Um, but it's something everybody's going to go buy anyways, and you might as well just get it coming out of the gate. Uh, one, one note about the lithium ion pack is that it has a smart chip in it. You can use any 12 volt, uh, 12 volt uh, wall charger. Um, and I know, you know, if you remember back in the day, if you had a Futaba radio and uh, a JR radio, transmitter um you had to really pay attention to to what you were doing uh, especially with like the old habico accu cycles you know people would cycle their batteries with that 
And there were two different sets of leads that you'd buy for either the JR or the Futaba because the polarity was reversed. And, um, you know, you could cause damage. But there is a smart chip in the optional lithium ion pack made by Spectrum. And uh, um, so it doesn't matter what the polarity is uh, on the input plug. So um, I'm going to flip this over and show you real quick if I can get this off without, you know, that was easy. Um, You've got a spacer here, it's a hard form spacer. Uh, that pops out, okay? This tray holds your double A's, but this will also pop out. And when you get your lithium ion pack, I'll just tell you now, it's a nice snug fit. You unplug this, this plug right here, and your lithium ion pack will plug in right there, obviously. Now, when you're, where your negative and your positive lead comes out of the lithium ion pack, um, it can be a little tight. Be patient with it. Don't force it. What I did on mine, the last one that I had, I actually sent it to my friend um, out in Indiana. A little shout out to Matt out in uh, Kokomo. Um, what I did was I took a piece of blue uh, heat shrink, about a half an inch long. It fit over the end of this plug, and I slid it down onto here, and then I just uh, hit it with my heat gun. And what that does is that on the lithium ion pack, it protects uh, your positive and your negative lead. And because the silicone jacket on the lithium ion pack is a high quality jacket, but it's silicone and it's soft and it's thin. And if you're not careful, you will nick it. So go ahead and, um, you know, either be extremely careful. If you have a piece of heat shrink hanging around, um, or you could probably even put a little dab of uh, like um, goop on there or shoe goo, one of those. Um, but I prefer the heat shrink. It's just it's fast and simple. It slides over uh, a half an inch, uh, even a quarter of an inch, just to protect uh, positive and negative terminals. And they also give you this uh, this beautiful little uh, wrench for adjusting the tension. One thing I noticed with the DX6, and I've had quite a few. I've had a, a few of them in my hand, um, and I've owned a couple. The tension on the throttle is uh, it's almost non-existent. I can see where if you cough. Um, you know, you could really, you could move that thing. It's, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up a little bit. I like to feel a little resistance. Um, this is, uh, more like set up for helicopter. So tension, uh, uh, on your, your rudder, elevator, and aileron, um, is real nice. It has that you know, nice feeling to it. All I do is I adjust the sticks. I have big clam diggers, big meat hooks, and, uh, I like the sticks to be a little bit higher than they are in the factory. So that's the DX6. Um, doesn't have the battery in it, so I can't show you that, but there's plenty of videos online. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was the DXE. This is a four channel radio. Um, it's got the same heft and feel of the DX6. Obviously, it's not a computer radio, but it does have a lot of cool features. Um, this came as a stock radio with the um, E Flight. Mini Apprentice S, and there is the oh crap button or the I'm in trouble button. So if you're get, if you get into a bad situation, push that button. And, uh, so, anyways, that's I'm not going to go into that. That's the DX6. Uh, you can pick them up used for anywhere between 40 45 bucks, brand new. So, actually, I think this one uh, going to a friend of mine, give them the uh, some discount. Okay, the other thing I wanted to share with you, for those of you who missed it and, not, you know, don't fish through my videos, um, this is the transmitter bag from Wingtote. I was looking around for a transmitter case, and I've had the hard shell transmitter cases in the past, and uh, I just think they're overpriced. I mean, it's just a, you know, a really inexpensive box with a die-cut decal on it for Futaba, Spectrum, whatever. So... I saw this wing tote bag and um, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. And I'm really impressed. It's got double zippers, um, you know, with nice uh, like parachute cord uh, poles on it, double zippers both sides. So, uh, and then it's got a nice, you know, uh, foam uh, interior and you do have to cut your, you know, cut a hole there for your antenna. But um, here's the cool thing. 
and I promise I'll upgrade my uh, my video skills. Got a got a camera, a nice uh, digital camcorder now, and uh, tripod. I'll be fiddling around with that. The quality of the videos will be better, but um, so yeah, right there you just cut a hole, and your antenna goes right in there. So that's where the DX6 will live. And then you've got this compartment up here. You can see the antenna sticking out a little bit right here. And uh, but that's a good little place to, uh, you know, you can put a small charger, um, you know, maybe some leads or you know whatever. Just got that little bit of extra space. And then you got this this flap right here. Up, double velcro and you can keep your uh, your owner's manual in there um, whatever you want so and it also has if you want to put it on there it's got a little uh window here where you can slide your ama card or business card name tag whatever um, reward in your phone number. so yeah that's it it's got a nice uh got a nice carry uh nice handle there you just want to carry it and it also has um, the shoulder strap. So, yeah, it's got a nice uh, shoulder strap, which I don't use. I'll, just, uh, I'll be taking it off. So maybe put it in that little uh, little compartment right there to keep it uh, handy if I if I decide I need it. Okay, so that's the the wing tote. That's a quick look at the DX6. I know I didn't go to end all the the um the switches and all that stuff but um all that's all that information you can uh, you can find right on uh, spectrum site horizon hobby you know, blah 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 there's the optional uh lithium ion battery pack and a couple uh a couple shots of the screen let's get the wireless trainer feature and box the uh, the 250 model memory. Look at that in the lower left hand corner of the screen. Can't imagine living long enough to have 250 models, but whatever. So, some of the, of the features seven wing types, normal dual aileron flap around, one aileron with one flap, two aileron with one flap, Elevon. Uh, a, Elevon, B, six tail types, normal, V, A, V tail, um, dual elevator, dual rudder, dual rudder elevator, dual aileron, Elevon, and V tail, and the list just goes on and on. And then for helicopter uh, software, you got gyro, seven point throttle curve, seven point tail curve, um, seven swash plate types, uh, normal, three servo, 120 degree, three, three servo, 135 degree, three servo, 100. 40 degrees, 90 degrees, blah, blah, blah. Um, dual rates and expo, cyclic to throttle and swash plate timing mixes, five programmable mixes, and then it's got all kinds of sailplane stuff too. Um, camber system, camber preset, uh, pre-flight modes, and on and on. So I would say uh, street price, I've seen this every, anywhere from like 185 to 199 and then you know, some people go up from there. I don't know why. I don't see how they could be moving inventory when the prices are not even close to being competitive but say 199 shipped to your door the dx6 i think for most people um it's more than enough you're definitely going to be able to grow with it spectrum uh has more than earned a uh, solid reputation and the service at horizon i've sent a few radios going all the way back to um like my jr um 850 Anything I've ever sent back, um, they're very thorough. They always let you know what's going on and uh, had excellent luck with Spectrum. Um, not to knock Futaba or, you know, any of the other brands. Um, just that I've kind of just kind of evolved at most of my receivers. And, um, I got a couple of the E-Flight 1.2 Warbirds that, uh, that all have receivers. So this is what I ended up. And for you Futaba guys, don't get mad at me. Futaba is a great radio. They really are. Um, it's apples and oranges. It's uh, Ford and Chevy. They're both excellent radios. So, all right, I'm going to stop for a minute. And there's one other little thing I want to show you. 
Okay, this is Pilot Head from Hangar 9 um, in 25 to 28% scale. I ordered an Edge 540T, a 60 inch, um, 60 inch Edge 540T from the EXP series uh, from ExtremeFlightRC.com. And I called them to see if they had um, a Helmet Head Pilot as part of their Pilot X series. Um, that would fit the 60 inch plane and they said that they didn't if they had one you know it would be tight you might have to you know, put it sideways a little bit so um i saw this and i just kind of stumbled across it and uh looking for some other stuff and it's got the blue and yellow on the back of the helmet there which matches the blue and the yellow um, on the plane and on the plane the checkering and stuff on the bottom as well as the bottom of the fuselage and some on the vertical stab um, has silver. So this guy's helmet has all the colors of the plane and the yellow um, outfit that he's got on also uh, ties right in with the uh, yellow and blue 540T, 60 inch 540P from Extreme Flight perfectly. So I'm hoping this guy um, has some really mad skills. Does a good job playing that 540T. And then you see there, they got all the different sizes but uh it seemed to be a little tricky to to come by i, had, I didn't see a big selection of them but uh yeah that's it and, uh, really dresses up your plane um i don't know why it's a personal thing it drives me absolutely nuts when i see a plane especially a kit um, any, any plane even you know the arfs like the extreme plate It, you know, it's beautiful plane. It's got no pilot. Just uh, which one? It's like, it's like uh, standing out in front of my house, walking the dog, and seeing a pickup truck go by with nobody driving. It's just, uh, it's just wrong. So that's it. The DX6, the bag from Wing Tote, uh, and the uh, pilot head from Hangar 9. And I'm going to do a video. I don't know if I'll squeeze it in today, but I'm going to do a video on the. Uh, now branded by E-Flight, um, Radian V2, if you remember, it was originally, originally branded uh, with the Park Zone logo, but they made some changes, and they did a good job, and I'm going to share that with you. So there are some unboxings I saw online, but uh, really just, you know, like taking the wing and the fuselage out of the, out of the box, and not really explaining anything to you, so... Um, not trying to toot my own horn, but I'll just try to be a little more thorough and do it the way um, I like to see reviews. And I like, you know, I like to see what's in the box and know what I'm getting. And, uh, somebody's opinion before I go drop a couple, two, three, four, five hundred dollars or better on my hobby. So, all right, guys, uh, that's it for now. Will from Radio Flight, I'm gonna sign off. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. And if you don't mind, take a second to. Um, like the video and subscribe. Sometimes you have to uh, tilt your phone up so that the, the video appears up the top of the screen and not up at the like button. Um, so, yeah, if you do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. I'll keep the videos coming. We'll see you at the field.